Hi guys and welcome back to the Vacancy channel. I hope you're doing okay because I'm doing okay too. And um, I may have mentioned in a video already quite some time ago that I went on holiday to Greece. And it was a wonderful holiday. There was beautiful scenery, amazing sunsets. I found my first praying mantis in the wild. Never seen one ever. So that was fun. And then by the time I'd worked my way through the Meat Fist pizzas and the very questionable Brink names and eaten my entire body weight in Euros, I actually went out and bought a load of vapes that I have not seen in the UK. The only place I've seen these was in Greece. So as far as I know, None of these exist in the UK. They may do, but I have never ever seen them, which is uh, interesting for me. And there's some brands, which are the same brands we get over here. And there's some brands that are brand new to me that I've never even heard of before. So let's just have a quick rundown of what we actually have. So we've got the Golden Puff, which is one I've not heard of before. We have a Geek Bar, which I have heard of. We do get Geek Bar over here in the UK, but I've never seen the Meloso before. So that's a new one on me. We have the Sky Crystal S5000. So if you notice on the bottom, 0% nicotine, I'll cover that in a second. Then we have the Mono 2, which is quite an unusual shape, really. Then we have the Origin Bar, which is, again, one I've never heard of before. It, it may exist in the UK, I don't know. Then we have the SKE Crystal TB600. Now, at the time, I'd never heard of the TB600. Since coming back, I have actually found these in the UK. So I'm going to include it in this lineup purely because I bought it in Greece and it was the first place I seen it. Then we have the Lost Mary QM600, quite a big beefy boy. Then we have one called Amerta Liquids, which again, never heard of. And finally, one called Panda which is, again is a brand I have never heard of. Now, let's have a quick look at this big boy here, because this big boy is a rechargeable 5,000 puff. Now, something I found out, I actually found an actual vape shop while I was in Carfu, and they told me something interesting. It's not illegal to sell vapes, that are higher than 600 puffs it's not what it is different though is if your vape has a tank size larger than two mils it has to be zero nicotine so the only e6 you can get in greece that contain nicotine are two mil tanks or less. Anything over that, by law, has to be 0% nicotine, which I thought was very, very interesting. So all of these, apart from the big guy, have two mil tanks. This guy, I believe, has a 10 mil tank. And as it's a 10 mil tank, 0% nicotine. Yeah, I haven't actually finished using this one yet because daddy needs his nicotine. So um, I'm not really using that one because it doesn't really do anything for me. It's just kind of there. Like it, it fills the, the gap of the feeling and the habit of vaping. But when I need the nicotine, it doesn't really work for me. So I'm still using that one. So that one's probably going to be one of the last ones I tear apart on this series. But we do need to tear one apart. And I think I should start in the order I bought them. 
I think that's one of the best ways to do it. Now the order I bought them up, the meat, the Meloso was first. Then I found the Omerta. Then it was the Nobaco Mono 2, which was this one. And it was you, then it's you. Then I found, no, you was in the middle of them. And Panda was here. And you was somewhere in the middle, but I can't remember. I have wrote it down. I think this is roughly the order, but I'm not sure. I'll double check. But I think we should do it in the order that I bought them in, which means we're going to start with this guy, the Geek Bar Meloso. Yeah. Now, I can't quite remember exactly what the conversion rates were. I did make a note of it. This one was seven euros and 50 cents. I'll pop a little thing down here to tell you what the conversion rate is, but seven euro and 50 cents is what I paid. Not sure what that is in pounds. I'll add it in editing. Uh, it's a watermelon ice, very, very small vape. It's very familiar or very similar to the Lost Mary's. In fact, it's a tiny bit smaller than a Lost Mary. A um, little bit fatter, but very reminiscent of it. Flavour wise, it wasn't that good. So it is a watermelon ice. It did have the watermelon flavour, but it just wasn't the best one. It was a little bit chemically, a little bit plasticky. It was still good to use, but yeah inhale wise it's actually pretty good it's got a reasonable size hole on the bottom for your air intake and a reasonable size mouthpiece it's not restrictive at all it's kind of almost perfect on the inhale in terms of duration yeah it didn't last very long it's meant to be 600 puffs and maybe got about 300 out of it um yeah and the final point is the design i really do like the design on it it's green pink and i think this is meant to be gold on the bottom i know it's it's looking very shiny and reflective but there's just a, a very faint hint of like a rose gold color to it so let's get into this guy and i'm hoping it's not going to be a long one because i've already talked for quite some time now so hopefully this one will be a nice easy one for us to get into here we go so let's find my multi-tool and we're gonna get you ready And I'm not sure what other tools I'm going to need, so I'm just going to pull a couple out for now and I'll leave them in. Have you still got captain tape on you? Yes. Let's get rid of that. Right, let's crack this guy open. It might be a little bit tricky because it's one solid piece apart from the bottom. Come on. I'm definitely doing some damage. Ooh. I'm scraping off the rose gold paint and revealing a plastic bottom. I'm trying to get the teeth of the pliers right into that metallic. Come on. Ooh, you know what, here's me hoping for an easy one and this one's actually turning into a, a little bit of a challenge. Okay. Right, let's try the normal teeth on you then. I was hoping to try and hook you off, but that's not really working. Hmm. You know what, this is actually very well built. I've got a little tiny crack there now. Not much of one though. Yeah. Oof. 
it does not want to give it up its secrets. I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but the rose gold paint is kind of glamifying my desk. Is that a word? I have no idea. Is that a word? Answer in the comments. Maybe I, didn't, I, mean, I can't even talk. Maybe I need a different tactic. Because I have put a bit of a gap in there now. Let's try a spudger. You broke my spudger? To be fair, my spudgers are only plastic, so I'm not expecting much. Where's my other spudgers? I had three spudgers in here. Where are... Ow, stabby. There's one. That's the one it just broke. Where's my other spudger? Missing is where it is. Right. That's the one you just broke. Let's try this one. Let's try and get in there. I don't think this is going to work. This is very well put together. And I know I've just shown on me screwdrivers, but these screwdrivers are literally the bendiest, softest plastic in the world. So these don't have a chance of getting into this. I wanted a nice, easy one. Right, you know what? Try and get you on here and pull like this. There, why didn't I do that in the first place? Oh, that fight and it was that easy. No, I'm just going to claim that I worn it down. That's the excuse I'm going to give. So, the outer body we now have. And there's not really anything in there. Here we have the battery and the tank. Is that, a, is that just a big rubber seal? Let's try and remove the full thing. I should probably isolate that battery first. And I've learnt my lesson one wire at a time. Because the last few times I've just snipped them all off in one go, it's been a little bit sparky. Right, and now let's try and remove the sensor at the bottom. There it is. And there's the bottom cap. So this is the rubber sensor, like, seal if you like. The air intake is actually a little metal hose, a little metal pipe or tube. Mm. Yeah, just there. And the sensor itself, I'm going to guess this will be a standard six point sensor. It's a blue LED on the bottom. Let's have a look, I might as well just use this while I've already got it in my hand. Ooh, it's not actually working that well. There it is. Yeah, it's a six point sensor. So I've gone over six point sensors before. We all know what they are by now. And battery is held on with captain tape. Let's have a look at the battery and then I'll go on to the tank. Get off. And let's just remove a bit more of that wire just to make it a bit safer there we go so the battery is a 13400 3.7 volts 2.4 watt hours and the production code this is an old one unless the production code is different on this but usually the last six digits are the production date. I don't think this one is right because there's a little gap there and it's got 0, 0, 0, 0, 0002. So I'm going to guess the six before the gap 
which would be the 20th of the 6th, 23, would be the production date of this particular battery. Now let's have a look at this tank because it seems to be in two different parts. The coil is at the bottom and then there's this at the top. So we have the drip catcher cotton that actually has quite a bit of fluid on it for a drip catcher. Let's have a look how much. Yeah, yeah I'm just pushing on that. You can already see it seeping out. So that's quite a bit of fluid just in the drip catcher. Hmm. All right, I'll throw the drip catcher away with it. Some of that glitter. I'm thinking this half is literally just a rubber seal, so I'm gonna try and remove that. It's not that easy to come out. There it is. Yeah, it is. It's literally just a rubber block. Which is a bit of a shame, this could have had such a bigger tank in it. And half of the tank is taken up by this rubber block. I'm guessing that's something to do with the law over in Greece, where they can't have more than two mils in them. But there's the tank shell. There's the coil, which is in a wick. I'm getting juice or fluid on my hand so let's do another tissue paper test and I'll do a double sheet this time see how much fluid is actually left in this oh a lot <clears throat> yeah so this is two pieces of toilet roll here And this actually helps me get an idea of how much fluid is left in the tank itself. Which actually looking at it isn't really that much. Best guess, 75 to 100 puffs at most. I think that's what we'd get out of that. Let's have a look at the wick. I don't know, the brace just slid off there's nothing holding that on which means in theory I should be able to remove the coil intact and it's a mesh coil no sign of burn on the cotton that surrounds it but there we go there's the coil and it is a mesh in just a rubber housing will you come out of the housing without damage no that's gonna I'm gonna actually break the coil there no let me just snip the bottom bits off and now will you pull out Yay, we got it. So let's try and unfold the mesh because I can tell it's a mesh. It's not a mesh two version two, it's an original mesh. Let's try and separate it out a bit. Yeah, and that still looks like it's intact to me hmm well with an intact coil I suppose it would only be polite wouldn't it this is fully charged I keep one of the uh, the lost Mary's to one side and keep it f keep the batteries fully charged just because I discovered something you can do with these batteries that I kind of like and I'm going to try and do it again right now. That one was kind of underwhelming. And it's already burnt itself out. 
Where is the point of fail? Oh, it literally burnt itself out right in the middle. Split itself in two. I'm just messing about now. This bit doesn't actually mean anything. I've just squished it back together. No, it's completely done, I think. Can I make a bridge a connection? No, it's not going to work. And if I twist them, it won't actually do anything because it will be too much. It won't be much of a, uh, a thin path to make a good show. No, the current's just passing straight through that without much fanfare. So um, it was a little bit of a whimper. I was expecting something a bit better for a complete coil. But yeah, there we go. That's where I'm going to leave it, guys. So thank you so much for watching this video. The rest of the Greek vapes, all of these guys, will be coming up at some point. I'm going to film them every time I get the chance. Um, don't know how often or regular that will be, so they'll just pop up here and there. But they will all come. In the meantime, I'm still sticking to the original plan of all of these guys, which I'm still tearing apart. I'm still reviewing. But yeah, in the meantime, guys, please hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. Comment down below what your thoughts are about the vapes or even let's talk about Greece in general because I love Greece. And um, yeah, if you could hit that like button down below as well. It really helps out the channel a lot and I really would appreciate it. So thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.